everyone welcome to my very first vlog i'm starting a new series i'm hoping to call it like small business vlog or something like that where i kind of show you a week in my life behind the scenes and everything that i get up to to kind of make what i actually make possible so i thought i would just turn the camera on today because we're heading out shortly to go get um some paper and a few other supplies i need paper for my projects and a couple other odds and ends for the studio from the art store and then we're also going to try to find a, my cat is just scratching himself. We also need to find a tablecloth. I've been looking for a linen tablecloth for a really long time and they're really hard to find for a reasonable price, but um, I think we're gonna go to a fabric store and look there and just see if I can get something that fits the size that I need. I want it for staging photos and then I also am going to be doing some markets this year. so. I thought it would be nice to just have um, the tablecloth just for like, yeah, like I said, staging my art. And then also when I go to a market, I need a tablecloth for my table. So I'm hoping that we can find a piece of fabric that will work for that. We're gonna go grab some coffee and just do some other running around, maybe even go to Ikea. So I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me and kind of show you what I get up to. So yeah, let's get into the day. So we just went into square one, which is one of our favorite coffee shops, and unfortunately there was nowhere to sit, but you know, the car is a great place to hang out. I got a lavender tea with a little bit of lemonade in it, see how it is. Oh, that is not a little bit of lemon. What's all at the bottom? Oh, is that why? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta mix it up. Mm. Yeah, that's better. I have this weird thing where I feel like lavender tea tastes like bath water. <laughs> tastes like the smell of bath water, but I actually kind of like it. And we got a vegan lemon poppy seed muffin. Let's see how this is. Mmm! So good. This morning was a success so far. I found some linen. Very expensive. I guess linen is expensive, hey? But it's nice. It's exactly what I wanted and I'm really excited to see what it looks like. And then I also got some paper and we're just having our quick coffee break before we go to Ikea because we just need a couple things from there. Nothing crazy and we'll see what else we get up to.
we're finally back home. Um, we we're only gone for like four hours, but it felt like forever just because it was so busy uptown today and the parking was crazy and people everywhere. But yeah, happy to be home. Um, I just thought I'd show you a few of the things that I got. We're going to try making clay, just air dried clay, but I was reading that you need a wooden rolling pin to roll the clay out so that it doesn't get stuck. So we got one of those. And then I also got this like, what do you call it, picture board where you like put magnets and pictures on it. But I thought this would also be perfect to dry the clay on so that we can just lay down some newspaper and um, just set the pieces out to dry on this after. It just has like a bit of airflow through it. And then I also got two packs of this clay. I was again reading about um, air dry clay and this is the one that is least likely to crack. So I picked these up. I'm actually going to try making a palette for my painting. So I'm really excited just to kind of do a fun craft and see if I can't make my own palette. I have so many ceramic palettes that I collect but I thought it would be really fun to try to make my own so excited to use this and then with that we had to buy all of the pottery tools to sort of use to shape the pottery and everything so we got a packet of like a beginner set and then a brush to paint on the palette once it's dry and then I also got a protractor this is to make the shapes of our palettes with but I also thought this would be just nice to have and then I got these cool clay cutters. So it's a shape of a circle and a square and the square isn't like a sharp square, it's kind of rounded. So I thought that would be nice. Maybe I'll try making like square, um, I guess the spots that you put your paint instead of doing round ones because you see so many that have round on them. But I thought it'd be interesting to try kind of like a rectangle shape. So I got these. And then I just got some white acrylic paint to paint on the palette once it's dry on the clay. And then this semi-gloss medium so that we can seal everything once the paint is dry. So we'll see how this goes. I'm kind of nervous, but also really excited to try it out. I've been wanting to try um, like making ceramics and pottery for a long time. And I know this is just air dried clay, but I am really excited to, you know, play around with it and give it a go and see what I think. So. Good morning guys i am just getting ready for the day right now um i'm going to be doing a few things in the studio today and that paper that i bought needs to get cut which is something that i always dread doing to be honest like when i get that paper like i absolutely love um that type of paper for painting on i can like tear it to the exact size that i need but the actual measuring and tearing of it is not the funnest but whenever it's done, I feel so good um, and just like have all of my paper ready to go. So I'm going to be doing that this morning. And then I also want to try out the tablecloth that I bought the other day and just see what it looks like on my desk for staging photos and if it's going to be large enough for a market. My concern is that it's not long enough to fit um, along the front side and cover that, but maybe I can get some sort of attachment for it. But for the purposes of staging photos, which is what I need it for right now at the moment, um, I'm hoping that it will work. So I'm just gonna finish getting ready and we can get to it. If you watched my video a couple of videos ago, I was talking about how I get ready every day now. And even if I'm just staying home and not doing anything, I just get fully ready. And honestly, it makes me feel so much more motivated. So. If you're not already doing this, I would honestly really recommend it because it just feels so good.
Out of this paper I can get six eight by tens I've already cut off this strip here um, I swear to goodness there is so much cat hair in this room I will put this aside as for this sheet I've just marked up with my ruler where the lines need to be and where I need to cut it so and by cut I mean I guess I'm folding it and ripping it so I just use this bone folder and basically what I'll do is I will go along one of the lines I've created and I will press that down try to make it as straight as possible which can be very difficult okay I have to shut the curtains because the light was absolutely blinding me it's actually so warm in here it's cold outside but that Sun is super warm so this is a strip that I just cut off I have a line down the middle of where I need to fold it again so basically this is an 8x10 and this is an 8x10 and then I also need to fold this one off so I'm going to do that now and keep working at the rest of these it shouldn't take me too long it's just one of those things that again I procrastinate and never want to do so let's just rip through it finished cutting all of the paper and I now have 12 sheets of 8x10 paper. They aren't an exact 8x10 just because of the deckled edges. Every sheet is a little bit different and honestly my measuring skills aren't the best but I now have 12 pieces of paper to work with for an upcoming project which I will share with you guys very soon. I'm really looking forward to that and then I also got all of these scraps from ripping the paper so um, I'll use these for like bookmarks or something. I like to keep these around. You never know what projects you'll need them for. And then I also have these longer strips that I will end up probably ripping into three. I just need to measure them, but I thought it would be cute to have like smaller original floral pieces. If I do a market or something, I can have them there and it's a little bit more affordable. So I held on to these as well. I dyed my hair yesterday and I have like all of these black marks in here but like I don't know how else to get these little pieces let me know if you have a hack to getting hair dye off of your scalp because this is not a vibe okay so I ended up ripping one into four so I have these four minis and then I have three like I said I was gonna do so I can do like a little bit larger but I think these are gonna be really really cute oh my gosh there's so many new leaves coming in on this plant I love it Okay, so I just thought I would show you guys what we ended up making out of clay the other night. Um, we made a couple different styles of watercolor palettes, just prototypes um, with air dry clay, but they're a bit rough. Like we didn't really know how to do it beforehand and we just kind of went in and did what we thought we should do. But we've been watching some videos and like learning a little bit more about clay. So we're gonna actually try doing it over again. I'm not sure if we'll do the exact same ones, but we're just gonna play around with it again. I did intentionally make this one really bumpy and just like very raw and organic looking, but for these ones, we did want them to be very smooth and there are quite a bit of imperfections. They're not completely dry yet, so I've been just impatiently waiting for them to dry so that we can paint them. We're gonna play around with a new clay that we bought from the pottery store, and it's also air dry clay, but it's a terracotta color, so we'll have to paint that one quite a bit, but I think that'll be nice because the bottom of that will be that terracotta color, and then we can just paint on top, so. I'll let you know how we end up going with the next batch, but this was super fun to do. I actually really enjoyed it. Okay, so obviously it's too big for this table. This isn't the table that I'd be um, using for a market, but I do like the overall size of it and it doesn't seem too sheer at all. 
I also really like the fact that it's like a little bit bigger because I'm thinking for staging photos I'd like to kind of have it like wrinkled up like this just a little bit so obviously there's still fold lines in it and stuff but I will steam it and this looks good so that was a success. with a couple t-shirt designs right now I just am like getting ideas I haven't I don't have anything set in stone yet um, I've just come up with like a couple of designs that I thought would look nice but I had this idea of putting my art on the back of a shirt I just think it would look cute on the back so um, I'm trying to come up with something for the front and I think I have a couple that I really like but I want to get your guys's opinion on it so I've just kind of come up with a design for the front that has words on it because I didn't want the front to be blank and then the back to have art. But I also think it would look weird if you just had this on the front of your shirt. Like, I don't know, I just don't really think it would look nice. So I was thinking this could be the back and then the front could be something like this. It's hard to see on camera, but this is actually like a deep green color. But then I also was thinking it might be nice to have the t-shirt be this kind of off-white color. And this is still green, but you really can't see it on here, so I'll have to change that color. But And then the back, it wouldn't have the oval, it would just be the art kind of in the back. Okay, you guys, I am so excited. I just sent off my t-shirt design. I'll let you know in my next video which one I chose. Once I get it back, I'll show it to you and everything, but I'm very excited to just get a prototype going for that design and I can kind of refine it as I want. Um, I'm not sure if I'll end up selling t-shirts all the time, but I wanted to just get one and just see how I like it and if it's something that I wanna keep doing, if there's any interest. So we'll see what that looks like, I'm very excited. But it is a beautiful day out today. As you can see, the sun is beaming in on me. My ISO and my camera wouldn't even go low enough for me not to be white casted right now. So sorry about that. But um, I just sat down to paint. So I did a video last a couple weeks ago on floral composition and I did a whole drawing for that video. So I thought I would paint it since I already had it drawn out. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see that, but these floral compositions do take me a little bit longer to paint just because they are so detailed. So honestly, this will probably take me the majority of the day. So I'm just going to kind of close off the vlog here, but I also just wanted to turn the camera on to show you guys the finished result of the palettes we made with air dry clay. So one of the palettes actually didn't end up turning out. I like totally wrecked it by painting it too many times because I couldn't decide on a color and then things weren't going right. So I would repaint it, but the paint got so thick that it just started like peeling off. So I ended up doing like a snap test to see how durable it was and it turns out it wasn't even fully dry yet so I'm not sure how easily these are going to break um, if they are fully dry so if I ever mess up again <laughs> I will give that another try and let you know how durable they are or just as I go with these um, let you know how they hold up. But yes, so this is the mini one that I made and I'll insert a clip because I don't think you can see it very well here, but this is the smaller kind of like natural palette I made. And I just did a white paint and then I did this like pink um, rim around the edge. And I think this one turned out really cute. And then also the other palette was this rectangle one. And I ended up doing kind of like a speckle design on it. And I actually really like the way this one turned out. Again, it's pretty rough. It was my first time using um, clay, but I actually have redone the design of that arch one with the um, paint holes, I guess, in it. So we'll see how that goes. I got different clay. It's more of the terracotta, as I said before. But um, that one is looking way better, so I'll show you that and I'll let you know how that one goes once it's all done as well. And then other than that, I ended up just making this little like trinket dish or like jewelry dish and just had fun with it. Like I just played around with the clay and kind of made this little shape and then painted it in a really fun spring sort of color. Um, 
But yeah, I think I'll just use this for like my rings or something. And I'm really happy with the way that one turned out. And then lastly, um, my fiance Avery, who you saw earlier in this video, he made me this water dish. So basically what I've been talking about for a long time is that I like shorter water dishes for painting because if the cup is really long, you dip your brush in it and the entire brush gets wet um, and it gets all in the ferrule and everything. And I don't really like that because I find sometimes it drips on my painting or it can like wreck the brush if too much water gets in your ferrule and it doesn't dry properly. So I really wanted like a shorter water dish. So he made me this one, how cute. And then he also made a little spot in it for me to put my brush, which I'll just show you. Like how stinking cute is that? And so thoughtful, so that's really cute. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that as well. But yes, I'm just going to be doing this painting today and other than that, I don't think I'm getting up to much. So I'm just gonna end the vlog off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.